In this video, I'm going to show us how to get set up uh, for our classroom layout, making our floor plan of the classroom in SketchUp. Um, and this is the SketchUp for Schools app that's going to be on your Chromebook. So uh, the first thing we got to do is we have to make a new tab in Chrome. Um, one of the things is making sure it's in Chrome because uh, it just works better with all the things we're doing. So in Chrome, um, we want to come in and we want to go into our drive. <clears throat> when we get into our drive, uh, you may have a few things going on in here, but what we're going to be doing is creating a new. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. Uh, one of the things that's sketch up for schools when we have to save things, um, it's going to link things to your drive and we want to make a folder so it's easy for you to save. So right here I'm going to type in architecture. Alright, and I put an H there instead of a T. Uh, architecture, and then we're going to hit create. Now that we have our folder in our drive, we are ready to go into our SketchUp for full, or SketchUp app. Um, the thing we do is we go to the bottom on your uh, Chromebooks. It looks very similar to this icon right here, um, but on the on the actual uh, PCs, it would be type to search. But what we're doing is we're searching for SketchUp app. All right, SketchUp for schools. And yours should pop up there. Mine is not here. I know where mine is, though. Uh, on my computer, it's actually found underneath apps, underneath this piece, and then SketchUp for schools. Is this loading? Um, on the left hand side, we have our tools. And then over here, we basically have our menu icons that used to be across the top in our old versions of uh, SketchUp that we use as 7th graders. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to make a name, all right? Because right now it's called Untitled. And we're going to call this Classroom Layout. And we're actually going to run it all together. And before that classroom layout, I want to start the habit of, we're going to type in our hour. So my next class is third hour. Our last name, first five. And our first name, first five. And our middle initial. Now, what that does is it gets us set up to basically be able to turn things in so they're named correctly. And I'm going to hit OK. And now it's asking me where I want to put it, and that's in our architecture folder. Hit select. When this is done saving, you can see it now it is said saving, and right now it said saved, and you can see the name over there. Uh, once again, your hour followed by your login, followed by the name of the project. Now, what we're going to do lastly here before we uh, are done with this video is we're going to come in and make sure that we have the correct uh, model info going in. And so we're going to set up our length units. What we're going to do here is we're going to go half inch format and then we're going to go one inch precision. All right. The snap interval changed to one inch. That's perfect. And length snapping is okay to be on. And that's all we have to do. And we can get back out of there. The Last thing, sorry, as the second to last thing I should have said last time, um, is we're going to set up our to be looking in the right view. Coming in here, we click on Views, and we go to that. First of all, Parallel Projection versus Perspective. Click on Parallel Projection, and then second of all, clicking on Top View. And now we are looking down at our red axis, which is the X in our y-axis which is the green and from there um, we're going to stop the video